All right, folks, I went fishing today. Got really prepared. I did something I don't normally do. I lowered my poles, lines down to six pound line because you tend to get more bites that way and you have better control over your lure retrieve and it makes the crappie less weary. I got all the way to where I was going, 35 miles away, get out, grab everything, and realize my damn camera was on the front porch. So I had, of course, had a good day when I don't bring my camera. Uh, what happened, I restrung those two reels I had, put the six pound line on them, and had the camera setting out on the front porch and had everything else in the car at that time except for those two poles and the camera was on the uh, rail of the front porch. So I got all the way there and didn't have no camera. Uh, so I figured I'd just show you guys what I caught today. I ended up keeping two crappie because that's what I intended to fish for, but I also kept five other fish because they all swallowed the hooks. I caught a nice 13 inch black crappie. Not bad at all. Good yellow color to him. Pretty girthy. Black crappie, 13 inches. And uh, what happened was I caught five fish in a row when I first got there. Back to back on a pink and green twister tail, three inch, letting it fall seven seconds with a quarter ounce jig head. So probably about seven feet down, out in the very middle of the lake. Caught five fish back to back. Now this, was my pride and joy of the day. I've only caught one of these in my life. This is only my second one ever. And that's what is known as a black nose crappie. A black nose crappie looks like you took a magic marker and put a black mark all the way from the end of their dorsal fin all the way to the tip of their mouth. You can see right there the black still goes down and then sometimes it goes all the way to their gill end of their gill plate there but this one had a very faint one down on the bottom underneath but it is a black nose nonetheless he was about nine or ten inches black crappie uh, black noses basically they are a genetic trait I believe very rare to catch but some lakes do stock them so they're becoming more common nowadays these are actually stocked down in Arkansas on the White River somewhere. I believe it's Greer's Ferry Lake on the White River or somewhere down in there. And somehow they make their way up the Black River, which is how I caught these out of this flood, flood pond. This was a regular bluegill that swallowed the hook about eight inches. Or that could be the red ear I caught at the very end. Now the only reason I caught all the rest of the, keep kept all the rest of these fish is because they swallowed the hook. This pickerel inhaled this twister tail so bad I couldn't even get it out with pliers. Little chain pickerel, maybe 14, 15 inches. And uh, as you can see, my twister tail is hanging out there. Just almost impossible to get off even with pliers. And uh, it would have if I even if I could have got it, I would have uh, killed it. Then. I caught a really nice red ear right at the end. He's still alive, in fact. He's, all these fish are faded. They were really pretty when I first got them, but that's a little shell cracker there. About eight or nine inches. And I also caught two warmouth at the very beginning before I caught the crappie. This is one of the biggest warmouth I've ever caught. Not quite, but he's up there. It's eight inches. And these were very pretty when I first caught them. They had the blood red eyes and the really colorful patterns to them. Of course, they've been sitting in the bucket for about three hours now, so they're faded. And uh, caught every one of these fish on the pink twister tail, except for the red ear was on a worm. And another warm mouth, about the same size. Now, like I said, the only reason I kept these because they swallowed the hook by when I would get it out with the pliers they would have died anyway because they swallowed it that bad and that's it that's basically my catch for the day as you can see here I'm gonna wipe my hands off real quick and then I'll zoom in on all of them together
So it wasn't a bad day for what time I had. I was only there about two hours. And uh, if I would have known it was going to be this good today, I would have stayed all day. Good variety. Got two war mouth, a pickerel, a regular bluegill, a red ear, a black nose crappie, and a black crappie. The biggest crappie being 13 inches. I didn't get no 15s today, but hey, that's okay. So quite a good variety we're gonna catch and cook these I guess all right well gotta get cleaning these things uh, next week I'm gonna be on vacation for an entire week starting Saturday so look for some good videos coming up guys I'm gonna be hitting some strip mines that are stocked with walleye and hybrid stripers and they got really big three pound crappies in them or the ability to have big bass I'm gonna be fishing those at least two to four days and then I'm gonna go back to where I was on episode 100 where I caught the 15 kinds in one day which is my secret spot and uh, the Missouri the Mississippi River was one place I was really wanting to go but it is two feet below flood level so it's it's almost up on the road so we can't do the Mississippi River this year unfortunately but I am going to check the Missouri River and see if it's a possibility that I can fish the Missouri River. Um, so if I can do that, I'm going to try to do that one or two days for blues and flatheads. And if not, it's going to be a lot of uh, strip mine fishing for an entire week it looks like. So no matter what, there is going to be some good videos coming up starting next week. So make sure you keep an eye out. You guys take care. Make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe.